So who is Flynn? Hey, so just who is this Flynn guy anyway? Were you and him seeing each other, Estelle? What do you mean, seeing each other? Flynn is Yuri's friend. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Two friends going after the same girl? You got a little wild side, don't you, Estelle? What do you mean, wild side? No, it's all right. You can keep your secrets. He so got the wrong idea. <laughs> oh, what a loser. Okay, let's go and see if we can find this Morio fellow. What are the knights doing here? May I see your passport, please? Our passport? This is Imperial Facility. We can't just let anyone inside, can we? Passport? You don't have one of those, do you? <laughs> of course not. An associate of ours is inside. Could you please let us through? If you filled out the official visitation paper paperwork, then you ought to have gotten your passport from this associate of yours. This is the first we've heard, though. If you won't let us in, perhaps you could call him to the gate for us? What's your show its name? Mordio. <laughs> Mordio? We, we can't help you. You'll need to mail in a quest and have a passport officially issued to you. Damn, don't budge an inch, do you? Excuse me, but did a knight by the name of Flynn perhaps uh, buy stuff here? All information about the establishment is classified. We cannot share even small details with outsiders. So you can't even tell me why Flynn was here? No, of course not. So what you're saying is that Flynn really did come here. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. A knight named Flynn? Never heard of him. <laughs> what a loser. Can we at least leave him a message? Give it up, Estelle. We'd have more luck asking a brick wall for help. Man, these knights are so stupid. <laughs> Why don't we just knock them out? With a rock. Let's just go. But Flynn's inside. <laughs> what, we're just gonna give up? I'm not going to give up, I'm going to see Flynn. And I'm going to take back that blast you from the thief Mordio and give him a beating you won't forget. So can we look for another way in? Of course we can. Let's take a stroll around. Why don't we? As a last resort, maybe we could go over the walls. Yeah, because that looks possible. Just go over here, and you'll find it. Don't forget to talk to this thing. But whatever the hell this thing is, just talk to it. Okay, whatever. At last, someone found me. I've been waiting. I am Wondershelf. I'll travel the world, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so this guy is Wondershelf. He'll appear as strange objects all over the world, and every time you find him, he'll give you a recipe and a set of ingredients to cook it. I have not found all of his locations yet, so I can't tell you where they all are, but I know where a few of them are. But if you're like me, you probably won't cook that much anyway, so here's the door that I need to go in. Doors like this never open when you want them to. I guess we'll have to climb over the wall and open it from the inside. A little <laughs> quick to jump to our last resort, aren't you? <laughs> Let's wait for Flynn to come out then. Even if Flynn comes out, it's not like he's going to bring Wardio out with him. Well, if Flynn comes outside, we can just ask him to let us in, can't we? You never go for a plan like this. He's far too much of a goody-goody. Carol, what are you doing? <laughs> there, it's open. What? <laughs> uh, you can't do that. Your guild specializes in hunting monsters, right? Or are you guys into thieves <laughs> guild type stuff, too? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm pretty much the only one who can do anything like this. Well, good job, shall we? No, that's bad. We shouldn't. Ju we should just wait here for Flynn. I don't have the patience to wait for Flynn to just happen to walk out of the town by chance. It was unquestionable obedience to laws and authority at times like this that made me quit the Imperial Knights in the first place. Well then, Estelle, keep a lookout for us here, why don't, won't you? Uh, I'm going with you. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if this place has a barrier. Cause I didn't see one. Man, there's a lot of Mordia lookalikes here, aren't there? <laughs> Excuse me, do you have a minute? Well, what do you want? Would you happen to know a knight named Flynn Shifo had come through here? Flynn? Oh, that guy. He was saying something about going to catch someone who has been vandalizing ruins. Where is he now? I couldn't say. My research keeps me too busy to pay attention to things like that. I see. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I'll be taking my leave, then. Wait. <laughs> hey, wait up. Tell me one more thing. Is there a famed mage named Mordio around here? <laughs> What's with that reaction? <laughs> People here want to see that weirdo? So I was right, you know Mordio? No, I don't know anything at all. I don't associate with people like that. Hey, I'm not done yet. What? Well, what is it? Tell me where the mage is. 
Morty lives alone in a shack back in uh, that way. Go and see for yourself if you want. Thanks. This Boreo guy must be pretty scary if everyone's reacting like that. Everyone seems to get all sorts of, uh, everyone seems to get out, out of all sorts from hearing the guy's name. It's weird. Yeah, doesn't it bother you? Well, he's a blasty of thieves. No wonder people don't like him. You know, Yuri, your attitude, your behavior, they don't seem very nightly. Where'd that come from? I mean, we're entering the city through a back entrance, like thieves. This coming from the guy who picked the lock. <laughs> I'm just tagging along to find Flynn, and now you've turned me into a thief. We haven't stolen anything. Sheesh. <laughs> yeah, we haven't stolen anything. We just broke in a little bit. A little B and E here and there ain't no problem. Okay, here's the um, um, shop here. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do this later because we need to go shopping just a little bit after this part. There's a save point right there if you need it. And lots of books. So basically, in this game, mages are kind of like scientists in a way. Y you can probably say that, but there's a lot of mages here if you didn't notice. But anyway, here's where Mordia lives. All the way back here alone. Jeez, this guy's kind of weird, isn't he? Keep out. Seriously. Mordio. <laughs> nice welcome. I guess this is the place. It's locked again. I think people usually try knocking first. <laughs> Looks like no one's home. What should we do? No point in hesitating when you're heading into a den of thieves. No, I don't want us to commit any more crimes. Come on, Guess one more B&E won't then. be a problem. What? Your turn? We shouldn't do that either. Nothing to it. Wait for me! Please, wait! <laughs> Why does he always do that? Okay, this scene is probably one of my favorite scenes in the whole game. This is crazy! Easy. Who could live in a place like this? Um, how about Mordio? You can pretty much live anywhere you can eat and sleep if you set your mind to it. Yuri, don't you have something to say first? Uh, uh hello? hello. <laughs> coming in. And the door? Carol here, open your door. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Carol, open your Honestly, door. You can beat the shit out of him now. Excuse us. Is anyone home? It's a good thing no one's here. That means we get to look for evidence. Sweet. This city sure has a lot of books. I'm not really too crazy about reading. I'm gonna have a hard time sleeping in this place. Yeah. You seem like you're too jittery to sit still and look at something for too long. You're one to talk. <laughs> hey, what happened to Estelle? She's been over there reading books ever since we got here. Hmm. Estelle, time to get going. Hmm. Once she starts reading, you can't pull her away. Huh? Did you say something? This seems to be literature from an ancient civilization. She's not even listening. <laughs> She's not even listening. Sweet. Um, what's this? That's a Blastia formula. Feel free to step. <laughs> feel free to step inside if you'd like. Aren't you cold? I've I've had enough crimes for today, thank you. Uh, it's no such big deal. Not a big deal. Breaking and entering is a crime punishable by at least a year in prison and a fine up to ten thousand gold. Wow. <laughs> Do you notice how messy this writing is? I can't. <laughs> I'm not right next to this. But they say people with bad handwriting have good hearts. Well, I have good handwriting and a good heart. How about that? Still, do you know what this formula means? It resembles a magic circle that uses fire, but I'm not sure. But at least you understand it a little bit. I mean, it means nothing to me at all. Because you can't use magic like that. Let's, go, let's try looking over here. The person who lives here must be quite an hardened scholar. Just because someone studies hard doesn't mean their actions are right or just. Hey, the cover's about to fall, this one. Treat books with respect. Priceless information is written on the pages. Yes. <laughs> okay. So these books are really important to this person. Trust me. What are these? These look like Blastia. Oh, check this out. It's a Blastia model. Hmm. 
whoever made this was pretty talented. It's a model of, of a Grand Blastia. It's not working, though. Grand Blastia? Grand Blastia refers to especially large types of Blastia, including, but not limited to, Barrier Blastia. Read that in a book, too, huh? Yeah, whenever the text box is completely square like that, she's usually citing a book. It's, um, Man, there's so many books over here. We can't even get to those ladders. Whoa. Looks like a person. <laughs> so is this Morio? Shut up. Hey. Huh? Hey, hold on. Thieves? No, what are you? Be gone. Help! <laughs> uh, why me? A girl? If you can pull tricks like that, why'd you bother skipping town back in Zafius? Huh? Skipping town? Why would I need to skip town? For stealing the core of a Blastia from the lower quarter in the capital. What else? What? You're calling me a thief. Have you ever heard of common sense? Sure. So you break into a home, call the owner a thief, and wave a sword in their face. What the hell kind of sense is that? Well, actually, this is an axe, but... <laughs> hey, dog! You stay back, you... you dog! <laughs> Very creative writing right there. And you, kid, give him back. What do you mean? The Blastia, the Blastia, give him back to me! What's with you? My name is Estelise. We're terribly sorry for barging in on you like this. Yuri, Carol, you too. Um... Sorry. So, what do you want? Well, you see, Yuri has followed a Blastia thief here all the way from the Imperial capital. And? And that Blastia thief wore a cape, was short, and their name was Mordio. So? Hmm. Well, Mordio is certainly my name. Read a Mordio to be exact. And the height matches up too! What do you have to say for yourself? The guy who stole the Blastia Core had a mustache, though. I don't think this girl has a mustache. <laughs> I told you, I have no idea what you're... Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Follow me. What? <laughs> uh, maybe you didn't hear me. We're not finished here. Just follow me, would you? There's talk that some thieves have turned up in the Shykos ruins. Oh yeah, by the way, tell me if Rita's voice sounds familiar to you guys. Thieves? Are you sure about that? It came from an Imperial Knight who asked me for help. It should be trustworthy. That's right! It's the voice of Rukia Kuchki from Bleach. <laughs> Do you think that knight might have been Flynn? It's gotta be. Looks like she shot him down, though. Hey, remember what that guy outside said about someone vandalizing the ruins? Which means the thief who stole the Blastia Corps could be there. Hmm, maybe. That was fast. Finished chatting. Let's go. All right, but don't even think of making a break for it. You don't have to come. If you want, I'll just call the guards. Why don't we give it a try? It sounds like Flynn might even be there. It's up to you. Go to jail, make a run for it, or follow me. Pick one. Okay, okay. We'll go with you. The Shykos ruins are even further to the east, once you leave the city. So Rita joins our party, and I don't know what that new page added to the battle book, though. But Rita's a little scary, huh? Really? She's about what I'd expect. Seems like she's in a crappy mood too. That's because you broke into her house, Yuri. <laughs> I don't exactly feel like being on my best behavior when I'm dealing with a core thief. What will you do if you're wrong about her? If I'm wrong, I'll apologize. You'd better remember that when the time comes. Oh, were you listening? I just happened to overhear. So you think I'm scary, do you? Watch it, Carol. She's definitely the kind to hold a grudge. Hey! D don't scare me like that! This is not really all that scary. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna have her in the party right away, because... Rita is my favorite character to use in the whole game, so... She's level 12, so I guess we're not over-leveled at all. That's kind of strange. I really thought we were. Oh well. 
So throughout most of the game, Rita is going to be the character you're probably going to see me playing as the most. And as you'd expect, she's a mage type character. She uses black magic. If you want to put it in Final Fantasy terms, that is. Which is very, very powerful for this part of the game. Trust me. But now we can go shopping. We'll need... Let's see. We need some more orange gels. That's quite a bit of money right there. I don't think I can spend all that much. Dax. Okay, so we can get this, we can get this, and this. Accessories, huh? Leather boots, leather cape. Leather cape is really good. Um, we're gonna need four of these, though. That drained a lot of our money. Okay, so you're gonna want to keep the sash equipped on Rita for a while until she learns Magic Guard, because that's really useful for her. Okay, to increase defense and stuff. There we go. Yeah, no new armor for um, Carol, but that's that's okay. Leather boots. He needs the agility though, because I want him to be really fast. Besides, his cape doesn't have very much better defense for him. It gives him more magic defense, but like, not like we're gonna need that. Okay, so let's see. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need a rest either. So I'm gonna save my game real fast, and then we'll go on to the Shikos ruins. I don't even know if I want to stop here because I'm already like over t two hours. Two hours. Like holy shit. But this is when the game gets really good. <laughs> so I'd like to continue playing, if you don't mind. Besides, I think I got some more time for today. I'm not that busy today, but I got some stuff to do later tonight. Your name is Estelise, right? Yes, but that's kind of long to say easily. Please call me Estelle. You look like some fancy noble, Estelise. Why are you with that jerk? Oh, I think that Yuri is a good person. And really, I don't mind if you call me Estelle. All right, Estelis. She's tough. <laughs> Don't worry, Rita's actually a pretty nice person. In the beginning, she's just, you know, kind of a little bit of a bitch. But <laughs> anyway, the Shaikos ruins are even further east of here, which that direction kind of confused the hell out of me. 